Hi right, guys, next on Dave for fan cams. Dave, three 0 win. We're off to a wi we're off with a win finally. It's took a while, but it has been coming. Would you say? It has been coming, and um, I, I expected a win tonight. You know, with the, the new manager mm. the factor there, and um, just that with the fact you say we have been improving over the games, and it's got to come sooner or later. And you know, two teams that have gone on a run of um, getting nothing but draws, it seems. Uh, so someone had to give eventually and I think tonight was going to be always going to be the night when that had happened mm. and fortunately it went our way and um, yeah very pleased with the performance and the result mm. there were a lot of, I mean 1-11 to 11 tonight as well there's nobody really we could say we were carrying like usually sometimes there is a, a couple of players we're carrying but everyone tonight arguably could have could have got man of the match for the sheer effort alone yeah they all rang their socks off tonight um I hope it's a new mentality that's been drilled into the team. Mm. I hope it's not just, you know, putting on a show for the new manager. I hope they can, you know, take us into the next couple of games and, and carry on from there. If they can show this urgency and this determination and the, this work rate on every game, then, you know, I can see us moving at the table. Mm. And it definitely should have been more as well, shouldn't it? I mean, I've said it, lads. Uh, we should have scored more towards end, shouldn't we, with them chances? Yeah, it's... Um, I don't want to complain. But obviously, you know how important goals can be. Um, I think Chaplin should have had a hat trick. Schmidt mm. should have had a hat trick. <laughs> you know, Schmidt have that chance where he should have put it away. Um, but the, the fact that we're creating chances, I think, is um, mm. you know, the flip side of not 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 not, not scoring them. We, we're creating them now. We haven't been creating much, mm. you know, in the way of chances since the start of the season, really. Um, so uh, yeah, positive there. Bit of practice on the on the finishing, and I think. Um, we knew enough to finish the article. Yeah, yeah, I agree with what you're saying there, Dave. About that, uh, about we're not even we weren't even creating anything c come a month ago. Now it seems like we are when we are going for we are looking dangerous. We are looking like a chance will fall to us. Um, that's the that's the next thing in it. Just putting them chances away, and uh, I think that'll come. You know what I mean? I don't I don't think players have had any out and out clear cut chances like like tonight so hopefully you know when, when games come I mean Watford like you might not get as many against Watford so when them they do come we've got to be try and be a bit more clinical yeah we've got uh, we've got two big tests coming up you know Watford are uh, one of the big teams in the division although they've been quite fortunate tonight I see away at Wickham mm. um, denied a uh, Wickham denied a winner in the last minute so um, they'll be looking to bounce back. So that's going to be a tough test on Saturday. And then obviously there's Cardiff next Tuesday, who we never do well against. So I mm. think it's important that we got the win tonight so we can take that into the next two games and see where we go from there. Mm. Who was your uh, man of the match for this one? Because um, he played um, you know, the full 90 minutes, I'm going to have to go for, I'm going to have to go for Britain. I think Britain. He's, um, he just keeps on coming on leaps and bounds and he looks... He looks so good on the ball. He looks so confident. You know, he's he's stepped up from League One, and for some players, that that can be a massive jump. Mm. And he's just taken beat in his stride, and he always looks really comfortable. Uh, you know, like you said, anyone anyone could have got it tonight. And I thought when Matty James came on, he was absolutely superb. Oh absolutely. man, it's it, it, too good for us, him, isn't he? I mean, I know that's harsh, that's not nice to say that as your own club, but you, just seeing him on ball, mate, you could just watch him, them, them kind of players all day. How, how graceful he is on the ball. Do you know what I mean? He's like, he's like, a, he's like a uh, what's the word? Like a, I don't know how to what say. Like like an animal, like like something you'd hear D uh, David Attenborough narrating on. Do you know what I mean? I heard of. I, I, yeah. You, you, yeah, do you know where I'm coming from? Yeah, he looks like he can do you know pretty much anything apart from obviously shoot after that attempt tonight. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to hold that against him. But he just looks so comfortable on the ball, and you know he just doesn't look like he's going to give it away. Mm. And um, some of the vision he's got, some of the passes he picks out, you know, and when he's not got the ball, he passes to someone, he runs into space, so he can get the ball back, and his his, his whole around game you know, pretty much is absolutely superb. And the fact that he's not played much first-team football in the last two years, it doesn't show at all. It really doesn't. No, no, it goes to show it don't, don't leave you. I mean, I'd ho I would hope that we can extend it in January if we could, because it's not going to be long until he's not here. Like, I mean, obviously, on bench tonight, I mean, we were questioning, not questioning, but like just wondering, you know, why, why we didn't see Irby Kane or... Um, him start Matty James but uh, it paid off in the end and when he did come on I felt like maybe that sub one either because I think Adore were, were struggling a little bit in that first half 
he was struggling, I thought, when Adoma was going down the right. But then mm. they moved Adoma more into the centre. Mm. But yeah, he's, um, he's sat off a bit still. He's like Adore. He's, he's, quite, he's had some good touches down the left. And I, I just think he needs a little bit more confidence. You know, he, last, mm. last season, he seemed to be showing much more, you know, of what he could do. And yeah. He seemed to have much more belief in himself. But yeah, I think it was a... I, I'm not sure if he was maybe picked up a slight knock in that half, whether it was purely mm. tactical. But I think if it was tactical, it was a, it was a master stroke. Mm. By Ishmael, because you know, as we've said before, we either concede before or immediately after the break, mm. and bringing him on to shore up the uh, the midfield and you know stop that happening, and it's worked perfectly. It really has. We just look so comfortable in that second half. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, to, and it's nice to be able to be sat watching game and not be stressed, not be on as edge edge of a seat. Do you know what I mean? Just sit back and relax knowing that we were playing some good football and that's also nice to see as well the fact that it, it weren't necessarily working 100% for a door and the and manager acted on it whereas we've not seen that before with, with previous managers yeah he's um you know based on the first game I think we um had a few raised eyebrows when the team sheet came out like we usually do mm. and um I think a bit of a strange one I thought that but it's, you know, the first 10, 15 minutes, it looked like it might have been, you know, an error but with the starting 11 there because, yeah. you know, QPR came flying out of the traps yeah, and we did. just couldn't get into the game. But then we got we gradually got back into it. But then, you know, obviously the, the sendings off have been there and that's, that's changed the game as well. But, um, no, we've, we've, we've sort of like, we've come into our own in that, in that first half especially mm -hmm. and then just, you know, progressed and taken it into the second half and you know, we look a completely revitalised team and... I think yeah, I think it's um, I think it's very very positive. Mm. All positive, mate. Brilliant. Well, uh, I'll let you crack on. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm sure we will. Now we can sleep lovely tonight. Now knowing that, and hopefully, you know, we take it to Watford, and fingers crossed, we can get something against them. So, all right then, mate. Pleasure, and I'll speak to you soon.